All right guys, so I actually took a look at the 3.1 update uh, footage already. I just want to see what kind of new stuff we're getting. So I did read this one already. So I just kind of get myself familiarized with like what, what, what are we looking at over here. So uh, we have a very, very nice image of like a, this right here looks more of like a battle royale to me. Uh, these three looks like it's the opposing uh, side and then this is like the other side of that. That looks pretty nice. And then obviously you have the flag right there that is like the symbol of like the master league so uh, i feel like this time around in terms of the version 3.1 update they are really emphasizing like the new league system they're pushing forward which i think is not as hype as like they kind of have uh stayed right here i think it's still going to be pretty much the same as the old one uh more or less it's going to favor you can say like the uh, like the people who have let's say max out like most of their let's say uh, level 99 or, or just have parts up to that level 99 as uh, so we're going to discuss a little bit down further below uh the first thing they are going to be talking about up right here um usually the first thing they put is usually the most important thing so we got the new arena three on three league system over here challenge the master league where the strongest players in the world gathers now it's your chance to test the power of your gun plot fighters uh, i don't know if that's that is that doesn't sound that do not sound right to me. I think it should be a little bit of a better rewording, but it's whatever. So that's a pretty catchy phrase you can say right there in the challenge, like the best player in the, in the war, I guess. So that is your probably going to be facing off a lot of those people who have, you know, invested time, effort into the game, who are able to build out, you know, virtually any team and just virtually being able to test out any scenario um, you can like. Uh, what's good about this one actually is uh, you can actually do it in multiple runs, which which, which we will just kind of talk about. Uh, they did talk about that like on the in one of in the gun, uh, in the Gundam Expo online already. They kind of hinted that already. So this time around, in in terms of the banner over here, they actually changed it up to 97. So does that mean we are going to be getting that sometime soon? Let me zoom it in. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, this this could be the actual drop date. To be honest uh september 20th so that i mean that is probably like a soft confirmation over here if anyone is wanna this based on this image over here i want to say that this is probably going to drop on that you know tuesday uh just two weeks from now so there's probably going to be like a long maintenance um probably going to be into a morning timeline which i'll probably not going to be able to cover that unfortunately because like it's kind of past my time uh in terms of the recording right um so uh, we will be introducing a new league system on the three on three arena. There will be a new mode when all participating participating players worldwide will will compete for a high ranking and move up in the leagues. Limited time titles and arena coins that can be used to exchange in the exchange shop will be available. Arena coins can be used to exchange for marks. AI marks capsule tickets so that is the important things they're adding right there so finally they're gonna make use of the arena coin because currently there is just not a good option like what you can really do that so that is a nice change on them on that perspective right there so not bad um so if, this is just with the basic layout i think they're all like doing like a big overhaul in terms of like this one as well so uh, right off the bat they're not really changing the one thing running now um i'm pretty sure like once they actually adjust it there's because like currently uh, the last three and three we had, there was so many bugs in game. Um, you can, like, in terms of like the battle assessment multiplier, like you can be at full pal, you can finish with the within the fastest time possible, but you will still not get the full point, which I think a lot of like, in terms of like the top rankers were like completely mad about that because like, oh my gosh, like, I uh, because of this bug I couldn't rank. Like, I think I probably took one or two of that too, so I'm just like. Come on, man. I, I could have probably ranked like a place or two higher than I could have, but unfortunately, those are just bugs they have not really addressed yet. So, uh, another image right there that is when you leak up a leak promotion. So, you can get demoted and promoted. So, that is something to just kind of keep in mind right there. So, this right here looks like some leak of war. I think this is more of like a login bonuses, to be honest. So, uh, it's pretty much the same, but I think the only add on they have is the AI mark uh, caps over there. So, I guess. Uh, this button over here should allow us to see what is going to be given in terms of the ranking. I'm guessing they should it could be good, all right. And this thing over here, all right. So, this is going to be the huge determining factor of whether or not you are going to do good in uh, let's say this new league system over here because they are going to start taking into consideration on what uh, the operator base can do over here. Uh, I did roughly did like a what is the uh, the operator base already. I think originally since I'm not like 
100% clear on how it actually works. So, but even at that video when I explained it, it was still like it kind of um, explained to the to what it actually does. But this time around, they are really pushing for that. I think when I did build out, I, I think I told a lot of people trying to do an auto. I think autoing it, like auto build in terms of the operator base, is completely fine. I don't think even if you were to try to build it yourself, I don't think there's any. I I, I wouldn't say right. Probably there are stuff where you can cheese in some better uh, possible scenario, but if you were to do it for every word tag possible, every like combination, I think that would take probably many many hours. Or so I think a lot of players would not have the patience and time to do that. Uh, but this time around, uh, they're actually um, going to be basing on what like whatever your battle says. When that is going to be one of the considerations as well. So let's say if you are a player who does not have the best of this over here, you guys are in big troubles. Um, so this one definitely going to be favoring people who have probably is essentially have every part in the game at max level 99 uh, who summons every week because if you guys do know that um, there is some free slots that allows you to add in whatever it's basically free slot that they want to de uh, designate for people who summon so it's kind of like a rewarding thing so you can add those uh, the latest summoning parts onto that and then you can further increase whatever points so uh, there is not going to be a limitation on how many you can have so the high the higher you have the, the the more the better right so this is going to be a little more of like a limitless thing until you hit the cap of everything is level 99 for sure right um so it's done right here explain already so there's going to be five leagues beginner bronze silver gold master over here ranking for each league will take place on a weekly basis and will be, de be determined based on your arena points upon mission clear Arena points can be earned based on your battle assessment and additional point can be earned by setting and look at this by setting by setting and weekly designated pick up operator boots over here. I don't know if they are just gonna be like oh here's what you like here's what is you what you can use so I'm not sure if that is how they're doing it or is it gonna be something we can just kind of pick based on what we are running for example. Um, but this is gonna be a huge factor just because I feel like not a lot of people will be able to able to build up the high score i think one thing they also need to be addressing in terms of the operator base uh, because currently whatever parts you did equip onto the operator base you cannot basically use them to all trade parts um they're just kind of locked like how they would be uh back in the old days when we had the uh, when we had parts into uh let's say the skin so i'm not sure if that, that is a bug they're gonna fix or they're gonna continue to put it there because if they are i think that is gonna be a a hassle like, that is gonna be a complete hassle because I will not know where I put my parts right so I'm just like I'm just gonna be scrambling around like oh my god where did, where did I put my part so I, I did not see them addressing that so hopefully like they're gonna address that soon like in a in the after update uh, when they like see oh oh gosh like people can alter the parts because a lot of people have equipped them into the operator base already so I think that is something they definitely need to fix right off the bat so here's just going to be some league qualification right here. So it's going to start from broad or beginners over here. So promotion, you're going to need that much points. So I think after that, they stop telling you how many points you need. So bronze is going to be from rank uh, one, wait, what? One to 5,000, one to 3,000, one to 10,000. Huh? What? What are, what, are, what are this? I don't, what? Why does it say rank one to 1,000 and one to three? What? I don't know this does not quite make sense to me at the moment uh, i guess i'm not reading it right maybe but um i think what they're not really showing off right now is what is the maximum like what is the range points you need to be in uh they simply just say oh rank one to one thousand but they're not actually giving out what is like i guess you can't really set up currently in terms of like how the how the final score is going to be so it really kind of vary depending on like how the people play so if you if you have people who can cons consistently get the highest multiplier, I mean the basic point should be the same. But if you're if you're someone who is able to get the maximum point every fight, um, that will well place you within like the top 100 or even like the top one one percent, you know, like the top 10 ish area. So that will further push the outlier. So I think that is like probably the case where they can. I mean, like basically, it's still the same system, but they're just kind of categorizing it within like um kind of categorizing it in, into more of like a uh ranking which is i guess right okay so never mind the number of players that can be in each league so this one's gonna be infinite infinite and then 1500 can be in the top uh the silver league 
And then Gold League, you're looking at around 7,000. So ranking once okay. Okay. So I guess whatever points we place, what we get, I think just gonna be just gonna be translated into rankings, I guess. So I guess that is that, right? I guess you can kind of call it like a complete new system. But I, it just to me, to some degree, is to the same thing, basically. Um, to what we currently have, like we have E, we have F grade, E grade, D grade, C grade, B grade, and A grade. So it and then S S, no S and then S S. So it, I. I just kind of see it more more or less like the same thing so i don't see this much of being like an overhaul to be honest with you guys i i really don't see it but i'm just really interested in what kind of reward they can be handing out i think that's probably everyone's thinking about that as well so it's gonna reset per usual like every it's gonna begin from every sunday reset to that uh to that sunday or to that yeah sunday afternoon right there so it's pretty much the same you can challenge one kind of battle per day one kind okay that's quite interesting so what kind of battle we can can we fight again? So that's can that can vary depends, right? And the enemy are shared between all players in each league. Hmm. So everyone getting the same thing to fight against. That is quite interesting. And that is just gonna be I feel like it's more of like, oh let me not really copy what your build is. I think this is more of like a I'm just gonna say copy and paste to be honest at this point. If that is what they are gonna state as right here, everyone's gonna get the same. Um, everyone's gonna get the same player to be playing against. Uh, I think this is more of like if, if let's say oh, someone posts a build like alright this is how you can do 3v3 arena. I think if, if right if the player has access to those parts I'm pretty sure everyone's, everyone's just trying to build the same build. Uh, it's not more or less of like copying but those are the best parts to be using right. So at, I guess at that point you're not really copying each other for example you're just basically using the best part but i guess everyone can just basically do the same thing then it's not it's not gonna be more of like a difficulty thing kind of thing then because we're currently is like in terms of like picking what kind of player you can be playing there is more it's extremely rng-ish and it's more of like a randomized thing so i guess having this one can make things i don't know like this is interesting to me like just everyone having to fight the same thing again like uh right there uh there's gonna be unlimited attempts so you can continue trying for the higher scores so uh people can just literally play this for 20 uh 24 hours straight to get the best possible score so uh we can just definitely see a lot of people doing that so yeah it's i guess overall like i guess i'm not really hyped too hyped about that but maybe I, like once it's actually out i think i will be a little bit like in terms of like actually doing it i think at that point i'll be hyped like even every time every week when i do arena i i do get hyped on doing it uh there's i don't think there's i don't think there was every week like where i drag myself on doing it i think i do like the overall com uh competitive nature of the arena uh, even though it's more of like on a PVE base, but I, I still enjoy the challenge that we just just trying to see like where I can rank uh, within the top 100 ish on that good stuff. So I think once it actually drops, I'll I'll kind of like it a little bit better. But as of right now, just reading it on paper is more like ah, it's kind of whatever right now. Um, in terms of the AI or the AI marks over here, I think it's explained uh, the last time we actually read the newsletter. So it's basically it's gonna be the same. So once you upgrade. If you're a pilot to four star, you're gonna unlock one mark right there, and then unlock to five star, you're gonna get one more again, and then I, and we, when you unlock to six star, you're gonna get one more again. I'll uh, keep this in mind. This is starting off as a three star pilot, so that's why they're adding another mark as a common save for the lost, uh, you can say stats. But normally, let's say you're pulling off like a four star parts, I think it's it's gonna be basically how it is uh, as the actual part. It should be starting out at uh, once you upgrade to five star, it's gonna get a mark. And then six star and then mark and then once you get up to that uh trade level five and ten you're gonna unlock the other two uh as well so uh not really much to explain about here because we did kind of quickly you know talk about that last time around so i'm not gonna spend too much time on talking about this right here i think this one is should be pretty self-explanatory right here um and then this one would definitely favorite pilot that is uh, extremely free to play uh let's say it's easy to obtain uh, just like over the summer we had we had the opportunity to collect all the four girls uh they were i would say they are quote unquote free to play and they were given so many copies to us that we were just able to uh, get them up to level 10 for example i think what my method of doing this right now is for example um let's say let's say you're a play as a as a play base um you guys have some build project pilots and you know build project pilot has access to a second portrait and you guys know that it is quite quite hard let's say to push it up 
uh, boost it up to level 5 to level 10 pressure wise so my idea is just using like a standard pilot and then this should be level level easy level 89 and then you upgrade the standard pilot to level uh to whatever the whatever the market requirement is and then you just kind of sub slot the build project pilots and then you can still get some portrait away i think that is probably an idea i'm just planning to do that on uh, i think that's probably the most e effective way to get the most more out of your part so i think that should be it uh the number and of unlockable slot would uh, would vary depending on the AI pilot. So like I said again, three star pilot will have ad one additional more. Just like where you guys look at your welfare parts, uh, they come with three instead of two because uh, in order to just compensate with the with the lost stats, you know the lower stats and all that good stuff over here. Um, item required for the AI more capsule can be obtained from the exchange shop using the arena coin. So hopefully this is more of like a situation where it's not going to be based on a limited ten or a limited set a set limited numbers. I hope this is more of like something we can just continuously buy and all that. So I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, that's only just a little bit chunks of that. So now over here they are going to be adding chapter or every new update they are going to be adding a new story mission over here. So this time around it's going to be chapter 17. And this new chapter will pick up in the last time and feature characters from the Gundam Breaker 3. This will serve as a pre-sequel to the Gundam Breaker Dial of Balog short film that will be set to release in October 2021. So within like the next few weeks, we should be seeing some more trailers of them dropping the actual man. I, I am really excited to actually see some actual animation and just kind of hear those uh, voice actors. Uh, because we've seen this uh, we've seen this character numerous times in game already. But what I'm hyped about is this having like, like having them being animated and actually just hearing them like interact, right? I think that's probably the most important thing. So that is gonna be pretty much it, you know, just another new chapter over here. So, but this oh, are we are we getting this new ball right here? Maybe that's gonna be high uh, new ball maybe because every time when they do drop a new chapter, they also coincide with like another uh, one star unit. So I guess they're not really dropping that maybe. I don't know. Um, it says particip participating in the free mission and hard difficulty and potentially get rare drops uh, parts for the main character rifle to my Gunpla Co-Pie over here. I think co is still a unit that is a pre deployed unit that I have not completely formed up to a level or even for any of the parts to be honest. Like, I think I, I am completely slacking on that unit. So hopefully uh, they do give us a lot more energy or just uh, I'll probably farm them up. Uh, I think I still need a few more parts in order to complete the collection and yeah, it's been a, it's been a slow grind for me to be honest. And we are down, so it's not really that much. So it's basically the AI marks and then we have um, the new arena, so it's not that much to be honest. Um, and then further down over here, it's just going to be some refinement over here. So in terms of the mission creation, they're finally going to be touching this again. Um, I think the last time was it was just when they actually drop it. So. Now they're going to be adding a score ranking system or a setting over here. You'll be able to set a score ranking for your creative mission over here. Scoring is determined based on your battle assessment and can be adjusted by adding scoring criteria like time remaining, damage taken, and damage dealt as, a, as well as score multiplier. So this is a reminiscent to how a arena actually works. So I wonder if we can actually dissect this. So maybe uh we create how it actually is in let's say arena and potentially kind of like figure out how the actual score works because that is going to be something I i'm definitely wanting to just kind of test it out so that is probably the criteria i'll be setting just to see if i can replicate replicate what is actually is in arena so that is good uh in that in that respect right i don't think adding a score system really matters but i think i think what's the problem uh, with the mission creation currently is just there's not there's that lack of incentive to really play it because there's not there's not like a really good award that ties down to it i think this is more of like a you can say like a practice mode or just you know just players wanting to share their own ideas uh but i i don't I, just me personally i don't see like like i'm not really feeling doing it so i think that is like probably the only thing i don't really do in game right now so that is there's just not a real uh, incentive for me right to be clearing it uh a score so there will be a ranking plugin needed in order to say yeah that's that's a problem right i think getting the plugin right now is it's just hard like i think every time in terms of like those welfare they obviously do give you a little bit but it's just like 
we're not getting like the most important one so uh i think hopefully in this update they can make it a little bit easier to get certain plugins because like uh that is extremely hard like even if i want to create something it's just really hard because i don't have to i don't have the right plugin to be using, using so that is that so they are going to be dropping in a new plugin so hopefully this is something that's maybe easy relatively easy to get but i'm not going to put my hopes up on that um specific sorting condition is also going to be added you'll be able to You'll be able to add sorting condition to your created mission uh, up to two of the following uh, condition below. So it's going to be seven, so you can pick two of that. So I'm pretty sure that is also going to be something you can kind of add alongside right here as well. So it is a little bit of a major overall, I would say just adding a little, a little bit more uh, customization to that. So that is pretty good overall, right? I, I think just having them doing a little bit of a rework, a little bit of a refinement is definitely something I'm welcome to see. But whether or not I'm doing it, that is <laughs> that is going to be a completely different story on my end. Um, Plugin or not needed to set um, criteria or sorting condition. You must own the relative parts in order to set them as part of a, spe a specific part specific part type or gun plot set. Hmm. What, what would that be? I don't know. So would that be something we have to, let's say, for example, I want to set like a strike freedom. Would that be something I have to own? Probably, right? I, I think from just reading that, so. Um, there's also going to be a new tab uh, called a new from follow. Tab will be added to the uh, mission creation. Using this tab will be easy to find new, uh, new missions from players you follow. So that's actually good. Because I don't want to have to go to the hassle of like copying uh, my friend code every time when doing that, right? So that is going to be a huge improvement. So hopefully they can also expand maybe, maybe the friends list as well. Because I maybe for example I want to add a lot of people, and I think currently it's maxed out at 100. So I mean, right? But overall, I think I do like that system of this allowing us to just play for whatever's in our friend list. Uh, that would definitely be good. I I, I like that right there. Not bad. And then they are going to be. Um, adding the social media sharing button as well so that's good as well so it can be posting on like your instagram facebook um discord maybe like on reddit and that so that's that's good and then uh, finally the operator boost over here uh in in the new 3v3 3v3 arena league system three types of operator boosts will be designated as they pick up each week so are, are they gonna be different every week presumably just by reading that uh using a pick up operator base will earn additional arena points equal to the base uh the base total grade points right there so it's literally this over here if you have like a really really low score oh man <laughs> i don't know that is probably gonna be a extremely sad week for players so uh hopefully you guys do have a lot of good parts let's say level in level 99 parts so that's why do not ever sell your worth of parts i think those are probably the easiest way to probably get those um specific tax requirement or even like those part type matching over there so that is that um what else are we going to be doing accordingly we will be adding five additional free slots to part setting uh, allowing you to set up to 10 so that's going to be good so let's say i summon like like this figure around right i think i summon for a lot so maybe i can put all those 10 all those 10 new parts into that so i guess that's uh, that is going to be an extremely good way to incentivize people to be summoning uh, but definitely don't don't fall into that. Don't don't do that, right? Uh, just obviously summon for parts you like, rather not summon for parts that that benefit the operator base, because those uh, parts in the operator base will only will only be good for a week, right? And then the following week later, we have new parts and new parts and new parts. So uh, never chase for those parts just for the, this specific reason. That would not be a good idea, right there. So uh, let's move down a little bit over here. They are gonna add some more custom abilities over here. Four new abilities on the custom abilities that are activated during the limit burst will be added. Now be, you'll be able to, now you have even more options during battle. All right, that's a good update right here as well. Uh, uh, they're going to be adding a reduced burning consumption new over. So that can be good depending on like what kind of maps you guys are looking at. Um, if you're looking at some extremely big and long like, you know, maps and all that, definitely can be a good option. Um, this one's going to be all range weapon reload speed boosted. Ah, uh, this one, I, I don't really care about this one. I don't think it has damage of, of the effects, maybe. Um, but this one can be good if you coincide with like Vortex or, or Portrait that says like boost your reload speed and all that, or even boost the magazine size. I think that can be a pretty nifty build, I would say. I, I think that would be interesting right there as well, right? Uh, but this one, 
Yep. This bad boy over here. Ooh, okay. You get some buffy XQ effects right there. So that will further increase what kind of damage you could be looking at right there. So you can get up to a maximum of 30%. So this is equivalent to one of the parts tree that um this one's gonna be equivalent to one of those parts tree that is currently in my build right now. So that is gonna add a, a huge 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 amount of like kind of damage you could be looking at so um this me a little bit of an exaggeration right there but i i can see some big damage upcoming over here with all those gear changes and all that good stuff and then last but not least they cannot forget about some deep buffing fellows over there so anyone using the, some deep buffing skills over there you guys can also get some ex skill effect boosting with their soul so that is nice i think that is a great way for them to just kind of come back around to this custom ability um that is good i i do like these for additional effects right there that would definitely um you know that that would probably create more uh innovative way of playing the game so not bad right there at all uh in terms of overall the gear i think there that is just plain simple right there i did drop a video talking like it's it's a long video but i did kind of concise it to a specific point where you just click up into a different part of the gear so if you guys do have some question about how to get those gear i highly do suggest you guys to check out that video uh and just give you guys a little bit of a hint on like how you guys can do this uh how to get those uh, specific gears and all that good stuff right there uh last but not least there's going to be some ma uh, minor adjustment over here okay let's see what this one says right here uh to achieve better Overall balance damage will be boosted for all melee attacks. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Am I reading this right? They're boosting all melee attacks, including basic attack. Ex oh, excluding. Oh, okay, excluding throw type and funnel type EX skill. I guess those are already broken in game, so they're not really something they need to address already. Uh, that's wow. Like I don't. That's quite interesting. That the factor like. So does that mean that melee attack currently is underpowered? Except these stuff over here, these um, throw type and funnel type EXQ. That's that's an interesting things they're uh, doing right here or or adjustment right there. Uh, in terms of alteration over here, previous limited time alteration will be added to the regular lineup. So does that mean whatever we have uh, because they're like currently uh, there is a a long list of like um, you know limited time alteration that is gonna be expired in two days. So are they finally gonna move those out into like just completely dropping them from the limited side? I guess that kind of it's okay, right? Uh, because they have completely finished up the older generation of the Soul Cast and Gundam Battle Festival part. So I guess there's just no way, there's just not need for them to just kind of keep them blocked up, for example. Uh, because those parts have slowly fallen off already throughout the course of dro them dropping new parts, uh, new 40% trade. So I would say the older gen is starting to fade off a little bit soon. Uh, ever so slightly and all that good stuff right there and they're finally going to be addressing also the series capsule right there as well so uh gunplay appeared in the standard capsule up to the 3.1 update will be added to the series capsule right there so that's good so i'm pretty sure there's going to be more series being added to um just more parts filling up those uh, series capsule uh, okay but are there going to be ways for us to get those uh, series capsule coins a lot more frequently if that is what they're going to be doing right there. Uh, furthermore, series capsule lineup will be reviewed in accordance to these uh, additions right here. So uh, I'm pretty sure those banner lineups will have some uh, some minor changes in that. So uh, in terms of play levels, we're going to be getting up to a 260 right there. So all right. So that should be pretty much it right there. And then uh, these are just going to be some campaigns we can expect to see in game. So these are going to be the last bits um, I'm just going to be going over right here. And that should be the overall completeness of the first thing 3.0 update uh, footnotes over here. I'm pretty sure once they actually drop a game, I uh, would we'll definitely go over uh, every one of those little bits over here, starting from the top, the, the new 3v3 arena. That's going to be giving you guys my overall thoughts on how that actually going to be. And then the AI, uh, the AI uh, pilot moisture right there and all that um so these are just gonna be some of the uh you can say locking bonuses so you get some plug-in locking bonuses right there okay some special locking capsule every day all right Ooh, that looks that looks good oh there's chibi figures they, they look nice right there and then you're gonna be getting set to a new or to new height yeah extremely new heights right there with those marks with those yeah polish polished right there and they're also gonna be getting Ooh, are we gonna be getting some of these for free that that would be good that would be good and then we got a teddy bear right there so chapter 17 on right there all right okay and then also gonna be a campaign for arena 303 as well okay 
not bad but yeah that's pretty much it so that is all we know for now in terms of what what is going to be dropping on the version 3.1 update it's not a lot um compared to the other one um in terms of what we look at so far but i feel like the main thing they're trying to push this time around is going to be the leak system right there so hopefully they can make it a little bit more interesting than how it is already so with that being said that should be pretty much it for this uh, update over here so i will catch you guys all on the next one